Hello, uh, this week's assignment is pretty interesting. It's really pretty challenging too. It's uh, going to be photographing animals and they can be your pets. That's probably the easiest one to do. We're going to require five shots. Uh, that's going to be two posed shots and three active shots. Uh, so dogs work the best for this assignment, but I've seen some pretty good cat pictures too. Now we've seen Kaylee Greer's video and um, I've recommended that you look at her portfolio online so you can see some great dog pictures. So she's uh, the number one dog photographer in America and she gives us some ideas about her approach and I'll also have uh, some more details and diagrams in the assignment posting. But if you don't have an active animal uh, and you need an alternative assignment, I'll give you that uh, at the end of this posting. But let's uh, first cover what I'm expecting from the animal or pet assignment. Now, we're not talking about just driving up to fence and photographing some cows or horses from the road or something like that. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay to do. You can come up with some nice photographs. I've seen some really good ones. Uh, but that's not what this assignment is about. This assignment is actually interacting with animals to pose them and to get them to do jumping or sitting up or some kind of other activity that would illuminate their personality to the viewer. And that's what pet photography is all about. So if you don't have access to a pet or a animal that you could pose, then the secondary assignment, the alternative assignment, will be for you to uh, do five photographs of five different pieces of art or small objects that you have around your house. And the photographs should be suitable for posting on Etsy or eBay or a brochure. So uh, you can use the light painting technique that we've learned. Uh, you can build a light tent. You can shoot the objects in open shade using um, uh, a fill card or an auxiliary light. Uh, I'll give you a link to some videos that I've posted before to help you with that. So you, you have a choice between these two assignments. So first let's uh, talk about the pet assignment. As I said, it's got to have to be an animal that you can work with and pose and interact with. Uh, what we're looking for are different points of view. Now, if you notice that in Kaylee Greer's shots, she is very often at a very low camera height looking up at the dog, and she's using a wide-angle lens, and very often uh, she has an assistant that's holding a light uh, above and over her shoulder, kind of at a 45 degree angle, but the light is low enough to where you get catch lights in the eyes of the dog. All of her good dog photographs have catch lights. So you're going to need a hand, uh, either holding a reflector or uh, an artificial light when you do these uh, pet photographs, because I really expect you to see catch lights in the eyes. Um, if you're shooting outdoors, let's say you're going to do goats, okay? And they, they can be pretty silly and they, they'll, they can be posed and stuff like that. Uh, in that case, you probably want to position them so the sun will give them catch lights in the eyes. I don't think that animal pictures and even portraits to some extent uh, convey very much communication with the subject without showing catch lights. Uh, and if by some chance I take photographs and one eye doesn't have a catch light, uh, I will I'll pencil it in, you know, I'll put it in there with Photoshop. Um, so it's really important to do 
the kind of lighting that will give you those catch lights. Good luck. I look forward to seeing your work.